graph the following piecewise function. We have f of x which is equal to negative 2 if x is less than or equal to 2, and f of x is equal to negative 1 if x is greater than 2. So we're going to go ahead and graph this function. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is let's identify the first function. Okay, so the first function is f of x which is equal to negative 2 and it has the restriction where x if x is less than or equal to 2. So again here we have our x values which is our input and then we can see that the function f of x is going to equal negative 2. Okay and then we have our order pair. This is going to be x comma f of x and remember that f of x is the same thing as the y coordinate. Now keep in mind here, for the first function, x must be less than or equal to 2. So that means we're going to start with the value of 2 as our first input. So f of 2 is going to equal the constant negative 2, because this represents a constant. This is a number without an equation, which means that in this case here, it's going to stay fixed. It's never going to change. So therefore, we have 2 comma negative 2. Okay, another number smaller than 2 is 1. So if we want to find f of 1, well again, that's going to equal the same constant, which is negative 2. So this is 1 comma negative 2. Okay, if we take a look at 0, and we have f of 0, that's going to, again, going to equal negative 2. So we have 0 comma negative 2. And then if we try negative 1, f of negative 1 is going to, again, equal negative 2. So therefore, we have negative 1, negative 2. Okay, now let's go ahead and plot these points on our graph. So the first point is positive 2 and then negative 2. So we, have, we go to the right 2 units and then down 2 units. Okay, and then we have positive 1 and then down 2 units. And then we have 0 and then down negative 2. And then we have negative 1 and then down 2. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we want to graph this and it's a constant. So that means that here we have a closed circle because you're including the 2. And then you're going in the, to the left direction. So therefore, that is the graph. And again, let me use the correct color here. So therefore, we can see that it's closed there. And then it's going in that direction. Okay, so now we graph the first function. Now let's graph the second function. Well, the second function, we have f of x, which is equal to negative 1, and that's if x is greater than 2. So we have our x input values. We know that f of x is going to equal the constant negative 1. And remember, the order pair is x comma f of x. Remember, the f of x can also be the y coordinate. Now let's take a look at the restriction on x. x must be greater than 2. That means you cannot include 2. So, if you're not including 2, let's go ahead and plug in 2 to see what happens. So if you plug in 2 into this function, f of 2, okay, it's going to equal the constant negative 1. So that means we have 2 comma negative 1. Okay, so let's take a look here. So if you go from 2 and then down to negative 1, okay, this is what's going to be important. When we plot this point, we're going to go over two units and then down one, we have an open circle because it's not being included. So we need to be careful of that. Okay, next we're going to go with another number that's greater than two, which is three. So f of three is going to equal the same constant, which is negative one. So we have three negative one. We choose four. We have f of four, which is going to equal negative one. So we have four negative one. And then if we choose 5, we have f of 5, which is equal to negative 1. So we have 5, negative 1. Now let's go ahead and plot the rest of these points. Okay, now since 3 is included in the restriction, we have 3 and then down negative 1. And then 4 and then down negative 1 over 5 and then down negative 1. So now we're going to go ahead and graph this function. Okay, so we have an open circle at 2 negative 1, and then we have a line that's going to the right, and that represents the other piece of this function. So let's go ahead and check our options and select the correct one. So for the first one, it has an open circle down here and a closed circle here, so it's not A. 
Okay, for B, it has an open circle, but the first one's going to the left, that one goes to the right, so it's not that one. If we take a look at C, it has an open circle at negative one, 2, negative 1, and going to the right. Then it has a closed circle at negative, uh, excuse me, 2, negative 2, and it's going to the left. So it looks like it's going to be C. Let's check our answer, and then there is our result.